So here we want to have a look at how we make a speed change on the main timeline without affecting the subsequent clips. Now there's a couple of different ways of doing this. One is to use the, the custom tool where we can tell Final Cut Pro to not ripple the, the change that we're making to the speed. And the other is to lift the clip from the main storyline, make the speed changes, and then drop that clip down to the main storyline. So the first thing to do is just to kind of note how the speed change works. So if I highlight this clip, and then I want to speed this up, so we'll just make it twice as fast. So we're going to the speed option here, going to fast, and then changing it to two times. And you can see that it's rippled the change down the timeline. So now I have this big gap at the end of the clip, and I don't want that. So I'm going to go to Edit, Undo, or Command and Z. And my speed's gone back to normal here. So the first method we'll have a look at is how we just use the, the custom speed change. So if we select this clip, and we're going to speed this up a little bit, we'll come across, and instead of using the slow or the fast options, which will ripple down the timeline, we're going to go to our custom option. And you can see under custom, there's this option to change or set the speed rate um, and then to ripple it or to leave it as is. So if I now type in 200% here, so twice as fast and hit enter, you can see that instead of rippling that change down the timeline, it's actually now leaving a slug there, which we can then go ahead and fill. So we can do this to the entire clip or by using the range selection tool, we can select a range and then come to my custom option again and go in here and set this to 400 it's now going to make that change and then again it's going to leave a slug in the place of that clip now this is good but you can see it's leaving lots of different slugs so there's another way of doing this and you can choose whichever method you like for modifying your clips but both these methods are kind of available so the second method um, is to come in here and actually grab this entire clip and go to edit and lift from storyline and at this point with this clip selected we can make any speed changes we want so with the retiming turned on um, we can just drag it faster or we can choose one of the options up here uh, depending on what we want our speed change to be so in this case we might want it to be four times the speed or we might want to use something like the range selection tool and have a ramp speed where we have it starting at say 200 percent and then speeding up as we go through so we could go from 200 and then we could set a custom speed of 300 percent and then gradually ramp that up so now you can see we're getting faster and then maybe right at the end we'll grab the range selection tool again and as we're falling here we'll set this back to a normal speed so we get a nice slow fall there so nice and fast and then normal speed falling so we've got our clip with multiple speed changes on it the speed ramping set up there and now what we want to do is bring that down to the main timeline so that any subsequent edits we make it's kind of included within that main timeline so the way that we do that is the opposite so if you go to the edit menu we can overwrite this clip to the primary storyline and essentially what that's going to do is going to put it back in place and then what we're left with is this slug which we need to fill with another clip. So now we have a slug with, in this case, a three second duration. So we can jump in and grab another clip. And I'm just gonna press X here to grab that entire clip. And I'm gonna pull this down to the timeline and I'm gonna replace this from the start. So basically it's gonna replace that clip, but it's gonna fill that space. So essentially, and we'll just drop the audio down here. It's used the in point of that clip um, and marks an out point of the original clip. So actually you can see the orange selection here in the browser of what it's done. So it's taken the beginning chunk of that clip, three seconds of that to, to fill that space. And now that we've done that in this way, we have our edit. We haven't changed the overall duration of it by lifting that clip from the storyline and then making our retiming change. So thanks for watching there. Um, I hope both of those methods are useful for you. There's certainly different scenarios in which you might want to use one or the other. And if you have any other questions, then leave a comment below and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.